DC Museum has more than 100,000 stone artifacts in its indigenous archaeology collection. But where did the raw material come from to make these tools? That's what scientists are hoping to learn. What you want is to take a stone hammer like this and you want to knock a flake off. Grant Keddy is the Royal BC Museum's curator of archaeology. These little flakes, they're like a disposable blade. When people think of archaeology, they think of spearheads and arrowheads. Much of what's in our collection, it looks like broken bits and pieces of rock. Now some of this is waste material for making other stone tools, but that's important for studying the source of it, looking at ancient trade networks. The museum has more than 100,000 stone artifacts in its indigenous archaeology collection, dating back 14,000 years. Some of them we know where they came from. Uh, we can do special studies on these using this uh, x-ray fluorescence. So it's basically like a gun that shoots them and looks at the minute uh, chemical uh, elements in them, such as lithium, creating a fingerprint of different stones. So this is obsidian or volcanic glass, has this beautiful shine to it. It's lava that cooled quickly and formed glass. Here's an example of a spear point that I made out of this raw material. If I contrast it with this spear point, which I think is, we don't have this data, but I think it's in excess of 8,000 years old. And mine might look better to the eye. However, the raw material that they used to make this out of was far, far more difficult to, to use than this. So the, the indigenous person who made this had skill way beyond what I put into making this particular artifact. If you're going to make a spearhead or an arrow, this is what you use to shave it. So it's like a little wood plane. Wow. And when I, when I do this, what it does, it creates wear patterns on the tool itself. So if I look under a microscope, there's edge damage on there that I can say, hey, somebody was using this for shaving wood. That's not something that occurs naturally on the, on the stone. One that everyone's familiar with is this here, which basically is petrified wood. So I can actually make an arrowhead out of this ancient tree that's 100 million years old. So if I want to find out, okay, there's an arrow point from Cadbro Bay, where did they get the raw material? And by looking at the sources of this material, we'll be able to say, wow, this is the place where they got the raw material from making that arrowhead. And it may be that it's not anywhere in that area. Maybe it's on the Gulf Islands somewhere. So it's very important to find all this raw material and get it properly uh, put in the collection as a, as a kind of a source material for identifying where artifacts came from. And learning more about how the indigenous people of this province lived for thousands of years. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.